What is going on guys? The difference is all gaming with my review of Akami Got Killed episode 21 and this episode I easily have some very mixed feelings about this because even though we got some, we got some canned stuff in there even though you know it would change a bit like with Usano we also got some filler as well and that right there really kind of bothered me especially you know with, with the way it was handled and that right there you know deal with mime because that ending I get that you know her her death it, 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 it be, you know very sad but to me I didn't really feel nothing you know like nothing nothing really toward it because I was not always you know the biggest my fan but I never said that I wanted her to die I, I, I just didn't care for her but her death to me like I, I should at least feel you know like, like a little bit or something but I felt nothing at all toward it I, I just watched it and like to me like nothing happened I felt more for Susano death than hers but the episode itself it starts off with mine she's now plans on you know going there you know the rescue time to me and we see now that Akami what we're like on the steps waiting for her and so Akami she, she, she brings up a very good point like how back in the day mom here would like tell her you know to not do this or or don't do anything stupid but now mom is not following her own words as she actually you know wants to rush in there and save Tatsumi but that right there is because you know she she uh, she loves him but Akami you know had, had no chance of stopping her and then we have uh, Le Leona joining in and of course and of course you know they're uh, they're the boss as well all of them are go all of them are, are going to go to the capital and you know and save Tatsumi because this this right here you know his like execution opposed to bringing down the morale of the uh Re revolutionary army but that right there cannot happen so that's why you know that right there is like another reason why why you have to save him because who knows what this will do you know throughout the sun member because night raid obviously they are a big part of the army so so they like definitely need you know like all, all, all the members you know of this force to like back them up and so now we see there, there was like one thing that I did like and that right there is when Najenda had a uh, Lubov's goggles and, and so and so right now you know like they were they were doing this for for their uh, for their fallen brother and she said you know rest in peace uh Lubov. and for some reason i like that scene but but that's mainly because i forgot whether or not you know like uh something in the manga happened you know like what what was their reaction for is death in the manga i have to go back and like read, read like a chapter or two because to my knowledge like like it felt like in the, in the, in the manga at least they they didn't care too much or say anything but at least in the anime you know e even though it, it was something little they still kind of you know like acknowledge it but we see now that when toss me was low in the cell as actually came along and she actually you know like once again tried to persuade toss me you know to to join her so that she could get rid of all his crimes and that right there you know like that right there could have been you know something so wonderful because what toss me could have done it's what he did before, you know, pretend to be on our side or something, or you know, or pretend, or, or pretend to work with her, and when the time is right, he, uh, he could have tried to escape once again, but we see now that, like, he was so set on not joining her, uh, you know, like, or not joining her, that s -Def really had, you know, no choice but to actually, you know, like, want to kill him, like, want, want to do, uh, want to do the execution, you know, herself, and we see now that when, like, Run heard that, like that right there really had to stir up him and also uh run karome and wave those three were actually supposed to be on guard but we never saw them you know anymore after that but we do see that that karome is still not really recovering and she's actually getting worse because now her hair is, 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 uh, is actually falling out but we see now that when uh tasami what will be executed we, we have all these people there and we see him now you know like and we see him now trapped to this cross and, and, and so we see now that after the uh, after the emperor you know like says to his uh, little speech the uh, the prime minister you know was going to leave and when Budo, you know the commander when he questioned him about that you know the uh the prime minister was saying that it's lunchtime and that right there was like a bs excuse because I, because I, i'm sure the minister could like sense or could obviously tell something something was like go, going to go down here and so that right there like he knew he had to escape and so even even a budo he definitely knew, you know, what the minister was doing. So this guy is not slick, and Budo is definitely aware of how the uh, prime minister really is. 
And so and so now we see that when Epstein had went down there because she was the one that that was, that was going to kill Tatsumi, we see now that that before she can do like any real damage, you know, Mon was like quickly there, and obviously you know Esther kind of had to like back up a little bit, but not really back off because we do see Mon. She she like shot a bunch of times, you know, at the at the platform, and also Lubok. You know, like some somehow he had went there to plant all these bombs, you know, at the uh, execution site, and that right there blew up all the floors, and SDEF, you know, like fell to the bottom. And so now we have Susano versus the SDEF, which, which was what's good for the most part, but obviously, you know, SDEF is just so freaking OP. Susano ne never really, you know, like, like stood a chance against her, but then we have Budo, uh, Budo who, who Tatsumi could not be. We, we had him taking on uh, Leone and mine, but like mainly mine because Leone sadly got taken out pretty easily and that right there was a bit disappointing. I don't know why, I don't know why uh, Leone kind of got like the short end of the stick there because Leone is actually powerful. She, she, she just like need her chance to shine because we saw her doing pretty well when, when it came to like close combat, but then she got paralyzed from, from like from, uh, from, from an aftershock and so that right there took her out. So that right there was like definitely unfortunate. And then we have a comic, you know, kind of like wasting her time on all these like farther soldiers. But then again, you know, her role here was important because she had, she had to go in there and like get tossing me, you know, imperial arm because obviously, how, how else could he fight, you know, without that? But this fight between uh Susano and that stuff, I liked it, even though it was definitely different in the in the anime because this fight, this fight right here happened like in an entirely, you know, different, you know, setting. Their fight was like still good, and we see that you know, SDF did get the upper hand when she like froze him completely, and that right there was awesome. But obviously, you know, SDF would, like never think. That 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 a trump card could be so powerful because we see now that when uh, when not when uh, not Jinda actually uses it, you know Susano was doing better, but he was like still no match for Esdev because not only was she like like still blocking his, blocking his hits, but she, uh, she 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 was also you know like even dodging it pretty easily and she had this uh, smile on her face. But we do see that like uh, but but we do see that mime. She was like definitely struggling against Budo, and I thought maybe you know Budo, you know, but like kill her because obviously Budo is like definitely. One of the one of the strongest characters in in the verse that that right there is no question because his his uh, his strength is so high up there you know only Estef you know could be at, could be at his level but a mom here was like somehow able you know to deal with him pretty easily because we see now that even though you know she was getting hurt and you know like, and by, and by her being in a pinch pumpkin would get stronger she still could not really you know like even touch him but then then we have uh, Budo bringing out that the same technique that he used to put Tatsumi down, we see now that like Pumpkin was able to counter it, but that right there pretty much destroyed it because we saw it like crumbling and falling apart. But that right there also allowed Mime here to unleash, you know, just like massive blaster energy, and she was somehow able to like take out Budo. Which like which we like personally I believe that right there should be impossible, but of course you know it, like it, like it, it somehow happened. But obviously you know Budo was taken out, he was not killed. But but I, but I will say that if he wasn't wearing you know that like heavy armor, then I'm pretty sure that he definitely would have died from that. But I do wonder now you know with, with like all that armor gone, I do wonder you know like like how how would he get another period arm? Like maybe maybe his family you know like like had more than one because. They that right there, you know, the, the one he was using, he said that it, like it, it was always passed down through like through his family, you know, fa fa family bloodline, and now it's gone because Mime destroyed it. But even though you know Mime did win, she definitely wasn't looking good. And then we have a comment now finally, you know, arriving there, and we see that when she free tossing me. You know the uh, the the first the first he the, the first thing he did was like armor up and save mine because she was falling because you know she was just so freaking exhausted and so now we see that mine like now now we see that mine is in, in such a bad condition. Uh, now Jenna here was actually pretty smart about this and she can see that with like Tatsumi now free, they can retreat because you know S Susano could not be that stuff. He was kind of he he was uh kind of on her level, but you know it's still you know what what was just not enough.
and went with their uh, and with their uh, objective now complete, it definitely made sense to get out of there rather rather than like wasting their time, you know, fighting her. But we see that Esther, she was so you know dead set on not not letting Tosimi go. She had she had uh, dropped her guard. And with, and with that, we see uh, Susano. He bought out this like very long sword, and this sword had like crazy reach. This sword right here was like definitely longer than, let's say, Sep Sephiroth's sword, because Sephiroth's sword, like, you know, from Final Fantasy, it is definitely one of the uh, longest weapons. You know, like one, one of the longest swords that definitely that's like ever existed when it comes to like video game or whatever. And so now we see that with that sword, he, he like he was, he was able to get to her, you know, quite 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 quickly. And we see that F step, you know, has them in all these uh these, these ice walls, but it just was not cutting it. And not only that, there were like still bombs around as well that Nagenda was now blowing up. But we see that you know for the first time ever, F step was on Roosevelt, but like for a little bit, and she, and she, and she had to bring she had to bring out her very very overpowered trump card. Which allows her to literally freeze time and space. I don't know how that's possible, but hey, it works. That that, that right there is why Esther, you know, it's just so freaking amazing because she just she just so freaking overpowered. But not only that, like that right there allowed her, you know, to like stab Batusano. And not only did, did she freeze him, but she went for that overkill and she kicked the ice, which like shot him into pieces. And not only that, she also had destroyed. She also had a. Uh, Destroyed his core as well, and you would think that right there would be in, but no. Uh, Najenda here, she actually like made the ultimate sacrifice, where where she used uh that uh that the trump card one more time, and so we have no idea if she will die or not, because you know like it's it's definitely been a while since she like used it the first time, but like you use using it back to back, she might somehow survive because like because even though she said. That that uh, her that, that that her life force was depleted. We still see her, you know, like like barely moving. But she 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 uh did get on that she she did get on that on that major beast, which like took him out of there. And so, and so so now now we have Rosasano, you know, coming back once again. And like after thought that like maybe he had you know like more power than before. But I'm guessing that right there. What was like kind of like adrenaline, you know, like like driving him forward. But we do see now that like SDF did come to respect him as a warrior, and that right there, you know, was like definitely well deserved because Susano went in, even though he obviously cannot beat SDF, he stepped up, he he uh, stepped up a, a pretty good fight. And so now, so now we have now we have a Susano having his last duel against SDF, and obviously there is no way that like that that, that uh, he'll make it. So that right there was the end of of uh, Susano, but at least he went down fighting and so now we have uh mime and tosimi you know tosimi is like obviously camera her and, and and when you see mime holy crap this girl looks horrible her skin is pale like you you, you can see just like black men around her eyes she she looks like straight up crap and she told tosimi you know and she told tosimi to, to, uh, to put her down and we see at first tosimi did not want to do it but obviously you know he like kind of had to because uh mime definitely had no time left but but in her final moments, she did confess to Tatsumi, even though in a manga, you know, like, they were actually together at this point, which is why it's so weird how they uh, went about this. But we see now that, like, Tatsumi was, like, definitely crying because, you know, ch just like how mine loved him, he also loved her. So it definitely made sense why he was, like, so emotional. But, like, af after they had kissed, like, once... That that right there is where is where she uh you know like it's where she died. But obviously you know her uh, her her final moments were like definitely happy ones because not only did uh not only did she confess to tossing me, but she also kissed him as well. So so at least she died. You know, like with her loved one by her side, and we have Tatsumi, you know, like now holding her, calling out to her. But this one here will like definitely, you know, shake him up the most. Probably, like, I I can see, you know, mine's death probably shaking him up, you know, on like on a on a what's the name, blue blue level, or or, or or if not more. But that right there for the episode ends, and and the same from the preview, you know, from my next weeks. We were actually going to get uh, Akame versus Kurame, and that right there should be a good one. But but I, I do wonder, you know, how that would go. Obviously, you know, it's possible that that Akame, you know, might kill her because uh, I forgot in, in, in this episode, you know, the the only reason why Kurame wants to kill her is because uh 
the, 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 the only reason why Karami wants to kill Akame is because, you know, she loves her so much, she's not want anybody else, you know, to kill, to kill her sister besides her. So it seems their grudge match will be settled, you know, by by uh, next week. And, and even though I do have mixed feelings about the episode, I think I, I think I, I can at least give it maybe a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I, I believe that every day is good enough. But of course, I, I, I'd, love to, I'd love to hear what we got thought about this. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And you guys take it easy. And I will see you all next time.